Good morning, and welcome everyone to today's Picard Institute Symposium on the neural mechanisms um, of behavior and cognition. So first, I would like to thank all the speakers for um, taking the time out of their very busy schedule to come here to share with us um, their um, insights uh, from their work. Also, um, I would like to thank the people who work tirelessly um, to make this symposium time come together, um, particularly um, Naja Kessler, um, who is just such a wonderful um, uh, staff, headquarter person. Um, I think many of you interacted with her um, and, um, and uh, get assistance from her, and also the other um, headquarter staff. And finally, I would like to say a few words um, about how today's um, symposium's topic is particularly timely and near and dear to um, the mission of the Picard Institute for um, Learning and Memory. So um, in fact, this year marks the 20th anniversary for the creation um, of the founding center for um, learning and memory. And um, it was the vision of um, Susumu Tonigawa, who championed the idea that to have a real impact um, in understanding uh, behavior and cognition, um, we really have to um, uh, have clear mechanistic understandings of the neural circuits and systems involved in this process. So um, Susumu's foresight was to assemble um, um, a multidisciplinary team to um, tackle this problem. So um, in 1994, with a gift from the Sherman uh, Fairchild uh, Foundation, um, Susumu was able to um, recruit um, Matt Wilson and uh, Earl Miller um, to the team. And also um, with the help from uh, the late Steve Heinemann, and uh, Ma Bear, um, the team was able to um, uh, receive funding um, as a program project grant from uh, the NIMH. And therefore, this really facilitated the launching of the Center for um, Learning and Memory. And then um, in 2002, um, thanks to the very generous gift from the Picard Foundation, um, the Center for Learning and Memory um, was able to officially transition into the Institute, um, Picard Institute for um, Learning and Memory. And um, in 2005, um, the Institute then um, moved to this um, wonderful um, current building. So today, um, there are um, 12 investigators and um, a total of about um, 200 um, staffs within the Picard Institute, and we all work very hard to um, try to understand how neural circuits um, regulate everything from, from perception to processing of um, sensory information to cognition and emotions and um, other behaviors um, of animals. And uh, with this bit of history, I would now like to turn the podium over um, to Kate Tai who will moderate the morning session. Thank you.